Aedes albopictus, commonly known as the tiger mosquito, is a black-colored insect with characteristic white stripes on its body. Particularly aggressive against human beings, the tiger mosquito is active during daytime, especially in the early morning and late afternoon fresh hours. Tiger mosquito bites are very irritating and they can provoke itchy and even painful red swellings, sometimes causing a great distress. In the tropical regions, the tiger mosquito can be vector of serious diseases. In Emilia-Romagna, a chikungunya outbreak developed in summer 2007. This is a disease characterized by high fever and joint pain with a benign course. This episode shows that the problem is now present in Europe as well. The tiger mosquito is a native of Eastern Asian regions, where it developed in the rainforest. Since the second half of the last century, it was carried passively by ships and aeroplanes into several regions of the world. Today, the mosquito has adapted to some regions in tropical Africa, Northern and Southern America, in Europe, and in the Australasian archipelagos. Its ability to colonize different habitats from the original ones depends on its extraordinary biological plasticity, which enables it to realize very efficient adaptation processes. The first detection in Europe took place in Albania. It arrived in Italy in 1990 in Genoa with a cargo of used tires on which the mosquitoes had laid their eggs. In Emilia-Romagna it was observed in 1994 for the first time. In little more than a decade, the tiger mosquito colonized most territory. The colonization of a territory by tiger mosquito is a gradual process that lasts several years. When the tiger mosquito arrives in a territory, at first it colonizes it in spotted areas. And this means there are few isolated outbreaks casually spread in a non-uniform way. In the advanced stage of colonization, the mosquito spreads in the whole urban territory and the speed of this process depends on the environmental features. A survey conducted in our area corresponding to the situation in Emilia-Romagna and reflecting at the same time the general Italian one highlighted that the tiger mosquito populations were still undergoing an expanding phase. The first three quarters of the tiger mosquito to life cycle occur in the water. Puddles with even small quantities of water are necessary for the mosquito to lay its eggs. Also, just above the water surface. Once these eggs are submerged by even a small amount of water, like stagnating water after rainfall, the larval cycle begins and it ends up with the adult mosquito, which causes great trouble to man. This mosquito pretty well adapted to urban environment, and in order to lay its eggs, it chose development places like flower pot dishes, manholes, watering cans, bins and bottles left outdoors, as well as children's toys and other objects where stagnant water is to be found. It is important to underline that the tiger mosquito larvae have never been found in rivers, ponds, marshes or ditches. This means that it doesn't colonize such environments. Our towns proved to be particularly favorable environments for the settlement of the tiger mosquito, which by now has well adapted, becoming a proper Italianized mosquito. In recent years, its presence was detected in very sunny squares, shopping center parking, or industrial stocking areas where several sources of stagnant water exist, with filters and grates for the collection of rainwater. Like all other mosquitoes, the tiger mosquito has a life cycle composed of four stages, egg, larva, per and adult.
About 60 hours after the blood meal, females lay between 40 and 80 eggs, putting them just above the water surface. In the laboratory, it was observed that every female can lay eggs for seven subsequent cycles, up to a total amount of 350 to 450 eggs each. The eggs of the tiger mosquito are laid separately and have a tapering shape. At the beginning they show a whitish color, but as the hours pass, they darken until they become shiny black. On their surface there are some tubercles that can be observed only under high magnification. The eggs can survive even for long periods thanks to a sophisticated physiological process which allows the mosquito to undergo an inactive life stage in order to overcome winter cold weather and summer drought. The last aquatic stage of the tiger mosquito, the pupal stage, can last between two and four days according to temperature. The passage from the egg stage to the definitive emerging of the adult takes six to eight days in summer. In spring and autumn it takes longer, up to 15 to 20 days. The Ilvi trap is a necessary instrument to observe the tiger mosquito, to monitor its populations and consequently to direct the fight campaign. It's a black plastic cylinder with a masonite strip inside, submerged three quarters under the water level. The Ilvi trap, laid on the ground in shady, easily accessible places, simulates an optimal site for mosquito to deposit its eggs. The masonite strips are periodically lifted up in order to count the eggs laid by the mosquitoes. In this way, an accurate estimation of the mosquito populations is feasible. Using a number of ovi traps proportional to the area under surveillance, it is possible to monitor homogeneously the mosquito populations settled in the territory. Using this method, we can keep under control both the areas where the tiger mosquitoes still haven't settled in a definitive way, which are risk areas for colonization, and those areas where its presence is ascertained.